Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my channel, No Lane Restrictions. I really appreciate your time. This is the last of my four-part auto art model series videos. If you haven't already, please check out the description below for the links to the other three parts. They're really awesome. So for the last model, this is my all-black Ford Mustang. And I'm going to start the turntable up to give you guys a 360 view, and we'll chat a bit more about the model. So this Mustang was actually my very first auto art model in my collection. It has a special sentimental value to me because as I'm a professional violinist now, throughout my early years of violin education, my very first private teacher was an avid car enthusiast. For the most part, at the beginning of our lessons, each week, you know, we'd, we'd talk about cars, and most of the time we'd get to Mustangs. He had quite a few Mustangs over the time that I knew him. Um, and currently right now he's driving the latest 2018 Mustang GT. This model was actually one of the Mustangs that he had for the longest and uh, I, I can still remember at the end of one of our lessons he took me out uh, for a little ride around the block and it was just phenomenal. It was really my first muscle car ride, um, uh, certainly the first car I'd been in uh, with a stick shift, and uh, by far the loudest car I'd ever driven in. It really was a blast. So when I look at this car, I remember our lessons together, and uh, just the early years of me getting into cars and being excited about automotive things. I really like this model. Um, you know, out of the four auto art models that I have, this sort of seems more simplistic to me. Um, I think where it really shines are in a few details, like um, the headlights, for example. Um, we'll look at those later. Also, too, uh, the red brake calibers, um, the tail lights, um, the really tiny defrost lines in the rear window which you'll see in a sec um, and uh, again just just like other auto art models the carpet and and various things in the interior but I think the most coolest thing about this model is actually their attention to detail in the engine bay and uh, let's stop this turntable and, and take a look at that right now so before I open the hood, just like in the uh, Bugatti Veyron, um, and especially in the Lamborghini, we uh, see the grill, but not only do we see the grill, but we also see behind it. And that is just, I've said it before, that's the level of detail that I, I really appreciate with my auto art models. Uh, just that realistic quality that each of them have. So. In here, you know, you're going to be able to see the components of the engine behind the uh, screen there. And the same with around the grill, around the Mustang badge, you're going to be able to see the rad behind the grill. Um, and while we're here, you know, just what I was talking about, the headlights being one of my favorite qualities about this model, um, I'm referring to the turn signal indicators there and you know it's not just an applied decal or something painted on it's um, it's overlaid with the single piece of clear plastic just like it would be on a headlight so you have that depth to it and uh, just like in the real car I really like that detail and uh, looking at um, Looking at the trunk here, you know, you're seeing the tail lights, and it's the same. 
they have this clarity to them. You can see each individual uh, segment of the rear tail light, and that is really nice. It's just a, a really realistic detail. So lifting up the hood here, you'll see this fantastic engine bay with great painstaking detail. You can see the alternator, all the hoses. It's really phenomenal. And uh, a great thing about this model as well, comparing it to the other three auto art models in my collection, um, I love how the hood of this model stays up. Um, the Bugatti, of course, doesn't have an engine cover, um, but both my Subaru Impreza and Lamborghini Gallardo, the well, in the Subaru, the hood doesn't stay up at all. The Gallardo, if you watch the, the video, you'll notice that it is up. But that took me a little bit of fiddling to get it just right before it wanted to close again. Whereas this one, I can leave it on the shelf like this for display. And it will stay up, no problem. So I really like that. There must be some kind of little ratchet there or something. But it works very effectively and... Um, it's a, a nice way of displaying it because that, of, of course, I think is really the the main aspects of this model. The really the highlight is the engine. So it's nice to be able to see it and leave it displayed like that. So uh, again, you'll see the interior. It's really nice inside. It has the carpet as well. You'll see the uh, stick shift. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there's even the little green LED screen um, in the center console there. It's just really well done, just like all the auto art models. You'll see the, uh, the seat belts there, right here, with the little buckle. Uh, you know, this this interior is not quite as extravagant as some of the other ones and uh, it's just living up to this particular model that uh, it's designed after um, just just like as you know in the Subaru philosophy a Mustang they're really focused on their their engines and their performance um, it's a, a real driver's car um, so there's a lot of hard plastics and a lot less detail in the interiors of these vehicles so that's to be expected, and it's portrayed in these models. So I really like the uh, the Mustang logo here, how it's embossed in the rear bumper. And I love these um, straight pipe, almost straight pipe exhaust tips. And as a side note as well, you know, one of my very favorite Mustangs has got to be the 1991 Mustang GT. Um, you know, with those exhaust pipes that come out just perfectly straight, and you can see most of the pipe um, behind the rear bumper there. Oh, it's just awesome. I love that look. And this one really is a sort of a throwback to that, as it's not too far away in, in years. Um, so I really like that part. And just like before, we'll open up the trunk here, and you'll see that really cavernous trunk but you know again it is lined with the carpet just like in all the other models and it also looks like there's a gasket seal around the opening of the trunk which is really nice so we have the trunk there those nice GT rims and I'll open up the driver's door here for you so again, we'll be able to see the pedals and the, the white gauges. Really standard Mustang interior. And that's awesome. It's just exactly like the real car would be. Really nice. But doesn't that look nice with the hood up? I think it's a nice touch and you really get to see sort of the main event, which is the engine. So with everything open like this, this time I'll start the turntable again and give you guys another 360 view. You 
yeah so it's again such a great model in my final part four of this uh, collection series I really hope you enjoyed watching them all please uh, subscribe and comment below about your favorite models I'd love to hear from you so thanks so much for your time Thanks for watching and sharing this uh, piece of my collection. I really appreciate your support. I wish all of you a wonderful day. And stay tuned for my next and upcoming videos. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.